Can you hear me, ma'am? Now 18-year-old Mackenzie Shirilla facing murder charges from juvenile detention for the crash that happened last July 31st. The families of the two young men who died addressed the judge, Jamie Flanagan asking for a half million dollars bond. Um, so this has been an absolutely devastating loss for our families. I would echo Ms. Flanagan's uh, request to the court that the bond be maintained. Shirilla crashed her car into a building in Strongsville, killing 20-year-old Dominic Russo and 19-year-old Davian Flanagan, who were pronounced dead at the scene. Shirilla, 17 at the time of the crash, was flown to Metro Health Medical Center. Prosecutors claim the crash was not an accident. The evidence in this case overwhelmingly indicates that these were intentional and purposeful deaths. As the families looked on, the judge set bond. Court says not guilty, plea original bond is continued, $500,000 cash, surety, property, DNA must be submitted. Also, no contact with victim's family, Ms. Simmons, yourself, your friends, your family members may not have any contact uh, with the alleged victim's family's member. Do you understand that? Yes? The victim's families contend there may have been premeditation. The accident happened just days before Mackenzie Cirilla's 18th birthday. The murder charge does now go to common police court at Judge Nancy Margaret Russo. Reporting from the Justice Center, Vic Gideon, 19 News. Now you're